Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversation. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So what I have here are your January mid-month check-ins, yes? January 2019. So because I was working on the six month forecasts for 2019 and I was wanted to get those out before the 1st of January, I wasn't able to do full January readings for the collective. So I am bringing you guys a mid month check in. Uh, this is going to be a normal um, general freestyle reading, uh, just like always. I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot and I am using the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah. Um, and so this is just this general normal reading. We are going to be looking at what's going on currently around you since we already in the are already are in the month of January. We're going to be looking at what's currently going on around you and then what could be coming up down the line at the end of the month. So we're looking at for that. We're, we're, uh, we're looking at this from around the 15th to the 31st. Yeah. I want to want to wish a special happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there. Very happy birthday to you. We are smack dab in the middle of Capricorn season. I hope you guys are having a great birthday. I hope everybody had a great holiday. We are out of the holiday season now, so we might be going through that, you know, post-holiday funk, uh, the uh, seasonal depression maybe, but I hope everyone's doing well. Um, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me. These are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The energies are fluid. They could go either way. We could either be talking about you personally, or we could be talking about uh, someone that you're connecting with. Cross watchers, you know, it, take, what it, take it as it resonates. Also, everybody, just take it as it resonates. And again, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me, and I can get that set up for you. Yeah, I believe that's it. Ooh, um, good news. I am back at Om Shanti Bookshop here in, in the East Village of New York City. It is on East 14th Street. That is between 3rd and 4th. No, I'm sorry. That's between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. There it is. Um, but I'm going to be there Fridays now from 11 to 5 p.m. So go ahead and uh, you can give them a call. The email address, I'm sorry, the website is in the description box below. So you can go there, get their phone number, give them a call if you would like to... Uh, uh, book a reading in advance that can happen yeah and actually you know that way you don't have to potentially wait if someone else got in before you yes okay I think that's it so without further ado we're gonna get straight to it yes Aha. hey there Virgo welcome to your reading for mid January 2019 thank you so much for tuning in let's get into it hi spirit <laughs> Please, sorry guys, please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for mid-January 2019. All right, guys. Look. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be completely honest with you, Virgo. Things feel very heavy still. All right. I remember last month for December when I, what I, what I channeled for you guys and the reading was titled, you can resist all you want. And I remember saying in the beginning of that reading that things just, things just felt real heavy. Well, now I feel like I want to cry. Okay. And I've been... Working on, you know, channeling your energies and seeing what comes out. And I'm seeing a feminine figure. So I'm seeing, and Virgo uh, represents, you know, the Virgin. So a woman, a feminine figure. But I'm seeing her standing in this space and she just looks distraught. Like I either something happened to her or she did something that just blew completely out of proportion or went in a direction that she wasn't even expecting. And again, I'm saying she because this I'm seeing this fe feminine figure, but that is who that is what Virgo is represented by. It could be a man or a woman. It doesn't matter. It's it's the Virgo energy. And I just feel like I want to cry. Um, she feels misunderstood. I'm hearing that she's misunderstood. In many ways. Oof. 
I literally, it's like, I literally feel like I just want to break down in tears right now. Um, so if you're going through something really rough, I mean, you're, everything's going to be okay. But honestly, we all go, whatever we go through is meant to serve our expansion, our growth. So look at it like that. I don't know. There may have been, I feel like whatever happened here led to some serious, serious fallout in ways that people didn't even expect. Some of you might feel like it's unjust, but also I feel like some of you are refusing to see other parts of the equation here. And in that sense, yes, I am, I am picking up a bit of childishness or immaturity here. Um, you know, feeling like feeling like the victim or at least playing the victim card while refusing to take responsibility for something that you may have done in the situation. Now, this doesn't have to be you, Virgo. This could be the other person. This is a general reading, so it can go either way. Uh, the energies are fluid. They can go in either way. So take it as it resonates for your situation. But there is definitely a sense of a lack of maturity here that I'm picking up on for some Virgos, all right? One more shuffle, and we will get into it. All righty, let's cut the deck here. Boop, all righty Virgo, let's see what we've got for you. Well, you've got the Six of Wands here, but this is really talking about pride and ego. Now, some of you, some of you may have come out of the situation victorious. It may not feel like a victory, but you may have come out of the situation on top. For some of you, it does feel like a victory. But for others of you, this is keeping up appearance, okay? And that is very much like a Virgo. Um, and, you know, that I don't mean that to be... Uh, mean or a sleight of hand or anything. Um, Virgos are not the type of individuals to readily, you know, dump their shit on someone else. All right. So, okay, sure. Keeping up appearance. But I feel like this is heavily, heavily pride and ego playing a part here. This is, this is, this could represent the energies of um, not taking responsibility for what you went through or what you experienced uh, or what happened or what you may have done and um, playing the victim card also, but also just being like, whatever, I am who I am. I still like what, like, you, you know, you get it. You, you, some of you guys get it, but okay. Six of wands, we have, well, shit. Look at that, seven of swords. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. Um, so. Some of you are being very, very deceptive. Others of you have dealt with deception. And you could be, you honestly, you could be the one watching others uh, walk like in this puffed up, you know, egoic sense, all the while knowing that they were pulling some real shit with the Seven of Swords trying to get over on you. And there also, this also could be deception in the sense of saying, uh, 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 not telling the story right or as it truly stands. Trying to get away with something. Seven of Swords. Whoop! But you got the world here. So uh, somehow this the situation, the cycle is becoming completed. If either this is for you in the sense of um, the victory here is... Uh, you know, removing these situations or these people from your life. Or for others of you, this could be completion in the sense that maybe you're actually starting to get it. And so you're ending these behaviors, these patterns, whatever. Um, now, for others of you, you could be actually in a very victorious place, but you're being secretive about it. You're not trying to, like you might feel victorious and you actually might have a right or a reason even to uh, stretch your shit, you know, maybe do a victory lap. But I, but for some of you, I see that you're not actually doing that. You're doing the exact opposite. You're being very quiet, maybe very demure, um, not trying to make too big, too big of a deal out of anything. Okay, and then you have the world. Now that's the completion. With that completion comes 
some new stuff. The Three of Wands. So you're definitely in a. Some of you are really in a position to re, to to um, now. Now that you may have removed some things from your life, um, you have you're waiting for whatever you've been truly trying to uh, 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 manifest to come in. You're waiting for a return on your investment. And, for, and in a general sense, no matter what's going on here, I really do feel like all parties just have their eye on their own futures and are moving forward. Okay. All right. So the first row here, Virgo, is going to be the current energies, you know, up until the mid-month. And then the last row is going to be the very end of your month, okay? So first set of surrounding energies for you, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, okay? This could be you. This also could be a Capricorn or another Taurus. Technically, this would be Capricorn um, speaking literally because this does represent a cardinal energy and Capricorn is the cardinal sign of Earth. Now, it doesn't have to be any Earth sign. It could be anybody, all right? But this could be you, Virgo, also. Nurturing, loving, caring. But she's, not, she's also not someone that's going to take any shit from anyone. I find... Energetically, she has a sister in the Queen of Swords. It's just that the Queen of Pentacles is much more compassionate, uh, has more emotional involvement, or is more willing to involve the emotions in a situation than the Queen of Swords is. Uh, but I, <clears throat> I see you, Virgo, or someone that you're connecting with being very abundant being very caring, nurturing, loving. But like I said, and this is something that's really being put forward by, this, by, the, by spirit, the queen of pentacles takes no shit, all right? And she will stand by your side, you know, and she will go through the motions with you. She may give you, she may deliver some tough love. You know, there may have been a situation where there was a bit of tough love that was handed over, but check it out. Once she realizes or once she get, reaches her breaking point or once she realizes that you're just, you're bullshitting her, <sighs> girlfriend is gone <clears throat> and good luck trying to get her to come back. Because once the queen of pentacles is done, she's done. Like, dunny done done. Like, you never known done like you known queen of pentacles done. <laughs> okay. Queen of pentacles is coupled with the two of pentacles. Ooh, for some of you, I feel like you're treading on thin ice with this person. Very thin ice, okay? Um, for others of you, this Queen of Pentacles, uh, this Queen of Pentacles energy is very much focused on finances and just trying to keep herself afloat, trying to keep her life in balance. There may be a situation in which you may have, like this completion here could have been a job situation. And so now you are working on make, maintaining your balance. Also, I'm just getting an energy of we're in the holiday. We just came out of the holiday season, excuse me. So there might be some financial balance that needs to be brought back into the, into the situation. But honestly, the first thing I felt when I saw the Two of Pentacles with the Queen of, Pen, uh, with the Queen of Pentacles is that somebody, somebody's juggling here. And I just felt like there was an energy of being on real thin ice. If you're even still associated with this person, if you're still like speaking to this person, okay? I'm also getting an energy for some of you, either this could be you Virgo or it could be the person that you're connecting with, but there's an energy of needing to juggle to keep up appearance trying to like get the story keep the story straight like maybe even struggling to keep their story straight. Ooh, ooh, that's icky. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. You've got the Knight of Pentacles now. Okay, uh, interesting. I'm feeling some sort of recon 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 reconciliatory energy here. A little bit, for the most part, actually. But also, in moving forward, um, you, you, you're moving forward step by step, piece by piece, inch by inch, mile by mile. You're really not trying to take too quick of action or you probably can't take too quick of an action that makes sense virgo you are an earth sign so you're not really trying to move too fast into anything knight of pentacles is coupled with wow the page of pentacles 
Look at all these pentacles here for you, Virgo. I really feel like you're starting new, you're starting afresh, you're starting anew somewhere else. You're moving towards that. This could also be, with the, with the page of pentacles, this also could be owning up to something. Okay? Sorry, guys, I got distracted for a second. I mean, if you're in the process of owning up to something, you're moving, you're moving there pretty slowly, all right? Leaving no stone unturned, making sure that you understand all the elements of the situation before you actually, you know, actually own up to it. Because the, knight, the, the pages are messengers. Knights too, but mostly the pages. Your current challenge here in your energy, Virgo, you've got two of wands, needing to make a decision. Um, I feel like many, some of you are really moving towards a new stage in life that could be, um, this could be either a new way of expressing yourself or a new passion project that you might be focused on. For the most part, I am getting that this is a new way of expression. Do you want to continue to express yourself in this way or, 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 or um, represent yourself in this certain way or do you want to try something else now? Okay. Two of Wands is coupled with, ooh, the King of Pentacles. So here is the counterpart. You've got the King and the Queen. We could be talking about a Taurus. Um, we also could be talking about you, Virgo. But actually, your energy is more, we have the whole court here. Whoa. But your energy is more between, in my opinion, as a mutable sign, your energy is more between the page and the knight. Wow, we have the whole court here. And I am noticing that this king of pentacles is looking right at the queen of pentacles. And it's almost as if she's try he's trying to make a decision as to how to approach this. The queen of pentacles has the two of pentacles with, next to, with her. The king of pentacles has the two of wands. The king of pentacles, so I'm gonna say the masculine energy here, the masculine counterpart here, is trying to decide how to approach the situation, how to move forward from the situation. If it was a really bad fallout, he may be trying to figure out how to reconcile how to be truthful and step up and be honest. Whereas the feminine energy here is just maintaining her balance, trying to stay afloat even. Not even really focused or, con or, or, or um, not really letting on to the fact that she even has, this is even an inkling in her mind anymore. Although it definitely could be, she's just, she's staying internal with it. Okay, the closing message or uh, potential outcome for the beginning, for the current energies of your month, you have the, wow, the 10 of pentacles. Longevity, investment over time. This may work out over time. It may need a good amount of time. And we are dealing with a lot of earth energy. We are talking about Virgo, but we're dealing with a lot of earth energy and earth energy is slow to progress. Ten of Pentacles can talk about finances and career. It can also talk about uh, family. Ten of Pentacles is coupled with, woo wee, Six of Swords. Moving on. Moving forward, moving from rough waters to calmer waters. I feel like there's definitely an energy for some of you here in which someone's trying to figure out how to reconcile and how this can, how you guys can move forward to greener pastures, calmer waters, that kind of thing. Okay. Wow. All right, so for the end of your month here, first set of surrounding energies, you've got Virgo, you've got the Queen of Wands now. You could be dealing with an Aries, or you could also just be dealing with any fire sign, Leo or Sagittarius. Um, 
magnetic magnetism, attraction, confidence, spirituality, beauty, char charisma, socially adept. This is someone that's very attractive. So this could be you, Virgo. It could be another person. But I really feel like, for the, for the most part, whoever it is that kind of moved on from the situation and may have been on the receiving end of some sort of injustice, I feel like you're not letting that stop you. You're moving forward with your life and you're being... You're, tr you're continuing to be social. You're continuing to go get yourself out there. You're not going to let this stop you. Queen of Wands is coupled with the devil. Interesting. Could be a Capricorn. Uh, what I'm hearing here is keeping up appearance. This Queen of Wands energy really could be quite negatively aspected. Um, narcissistic in nature, sure. Please excuse the silence. I'm really, I'm really just trying to channel this here. Deceitful. Lies. Deceit. Um, now, also, you could be keeping up appearance in the sense that maybe you're feeling some, you're letting like the devil affect you in the sense that it's affecting your emotions. You're letting this, you're letting this situation get to you. You may not be seeing things clearly. You may be either having this energy at your disposal or needing to embody this energy, but the devil is getting in the way. Narcissism, I just heard. So even if you're not necessarily uh, connected with this other part, part of the puzzle any longer, um, you still could, they still could be affecting you through your thoughts. You know what I mean? Hmm. But you need to understand that you are much more than the devil would like to admit. All right? You are much more powerful than the devil would like you to be aware of. Because then that way the devil can't control you. Hmm. This is also like trying to control a wildfire. Well, no, you want to control a wildfire, I guess, but... A wildfire is natural, but it's like trying to control somebody else. Trying to like dim their shine in some way. This could be through physical, like verbal means, uh, or it could be through energetic means. But someone is feeling, might you, someone might be feeling a lack of confidence and might need to just step out and let not let the devil affect them any longer second set of surrounding energies for the end of the month you have the king of swords lots of court cards here and that's what i'm saying needing to see things clearly all right being objective you know being diplomatic but also you could be dealing with someone that is like overly logical really just an ass all right. The King of Swords is coupled with justice. I'm sorry, judgment. So I really feel like in some ways, somebody's getting their ass handed to them. And this could be this, this energy of someone that's just not agreeable. It's just a really, really difficult energy to handle or to be around. They could be illuminated. That could, they could be um, seeing maybe the error of their ways. They could be being called to change in some way. Judgment, though, even though, it, especially if you're on, uh, if you've been not the nicest person, judgment can feel scary, can be scary for you, but ultimately it's a form of rebirth. You know, it's like a reset button being pressed. So, yeah, you're going to have to deal with some pain 
while the icky stuff is removed or extracted or released, but ultimately you're being provided with a chance to start over. It doesn't mean that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to reconcile with this person, but ultimately <clears throat> you may be getting a chance to start over. And maybe not be so overly logical or not be so mean. Okay? The challenge at the end of the month, you've got the Knight of Wands. I'm hearing victory with this, but coming wanting to come forward passionately, swiftly, by in a fire-like way, but also the challenge is to not be so wishy-washy in the in the, like to not be so in one minute out the next. Or the uh, the challenge is to drum up the passion or the fire, the drive, the desire to move forward, maybe reconcile with this person or these people. The Knight of Wands is coupled with the lovers. Could be a Gemini. But yeah, there's definitely a recon reconciliatory energy here with the lovers. But the challenge is to get up the... I guess the desire or the drive or the passion, the fire to, to, to come forward, you know, and shed light on the situation. Mm. Final closing energy or closing message or potential outcome for you, Virgo, for the end of the month, you have the hanged man. So I see a lot of, some of you may be in a position of trying to see things differently, trying to see things clearer or reaching enlightenment, seeing things differently by the end of the month. Because it might have been a pretty rough month for you. It may have been a, it's been a rough two months for you, really. Hmm. We do have counterparts here, all right? I'm sorry, I'm being drawn back to um, earlier parts of the reading. We do have counterparts. So we could be talking about a husband and wife situation. The feminine in here is dealing with this situation of just keeping things in balance. The masculine may be, the masculine may be um, choosing between two people. Okay. All right. So the hanged man is coupled with, wow, the 10 of swords. All right. Well, the worst is yet is behind you. Um, you have enlightenment here. Seeing things differently, seeing things clearer. The completion, the end of a really tough situation. Okay, that's pretty good, I'm not going to lie. It's, I would say it's the end of the pain of this situation. All right, let's get your oracle card for the end of the month, or for your mid-month reading here. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All righty. Best message, please, Spirit, for this mid-January reading. Cycles. Underneath the deck, you have flow. Find an easier path forwards. Surrender the outcome. Release your expectations. You've got cycles. Everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body. Tune into the moon's magic. So I would say use the moon cycles to really help you purge, release, um, manifest the new, but also see how this cycle has maybe repeated in your life and now is finally kind of coming to an end. You have the Ten of Swords and you have the world. So completing, you really could be completing a major cycle in your life. Okay. 
Well, there you have it, Virgo. I'm sorry that how, that was the energies were so rough, but I love you guys. <laughs> um, I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me. I will be very happy to set something up for you. But in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of February. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.